I think Mr. Linescrew is going to have a field day with this one. Who do you think that is? That's Carolyn's RV Life. Uh, free RV tires to a nomad who needs them. She's giving away her old tires to a nomad who needs tires. So, uh, <laughs> they're not new. They're used. Now, they do have some tread on them. They're not, you know, they, they do have some tread. They're, they probably got some life in them, but... Uh, you know, I, I don't know. She's thought about selling them online, but she's going to know she's going to do the uh, she's going to give them away to a nomad who needs certain size tires. I guess she'll tell you what the size is there. But uh, I, you know, I, I, I get, you know, I, I guess they're in good shape. Uh, you know, they don't just they should be inspected for dry rot and plugs, you know, and I don't know. But but anyway, you know, this is again, she gave remember she when she finished the PCT Pacific Crest Trail, she was going to give away some socks, some hiker socks, you know. So, uh, you know, hey, you know, all right. So if you want <laughs> if you even need a pair of old RV tires, yeah, contact Carolyn. Speaking of socks, I want to thank Camp Goer One Linda for these beautiful socks. Look at them. Aren't they beautiful? There's one, there's, there's four pairs. Is that four pairs of socks? I think it is. Well, it, isn't that neat? Some camo socks. These are blue. These are kind of green. These are kind of uh, orangey, and these are kind of, yeah, whatever. Look at that. How many, there's a, that's amazing. That is so nice. Anyway, thank you, Camp Goer One. Uh, you know, I do wear the white socks, but I usually tuck them in because I kind of, I think that looks cool, you know, when I'm not wearing socks. I just, I'm tough enough. I just wear boots. I got tough feet. But anyway, thank you, Camp Goer One. I love getting swag, by the way. Swag, my swag address is in the comments below. I had a certain nomad who, or not a nomad, someone who watches my channel, they're going to send me an ear trimmer, one of those electric ear trimmers. Because they, they say that my ear hair just drives them crazy. Uh, Mindy wants to know, let's do some letters. Mindy wants to know whatever happened to Slim Potato Head. I think Slim's just kind of uh, in Canada, parts of Alberta, parts of British Columbia have to be locked down right now. I think he's just kind of hunkering down for the moment. Uh, he'll be back. I'm sure he will be sometime this summer. But it's tough up in Canada right now, especially Western Canada. Lots of lockdowns. I don't know, man. Pizza Earth Pancakes and Other Mashed Potatoes says, I would love to see Camo Dave mukbang some of Panda's Glop. Oh, yes, we would. You know, maybe somewhere uh, in, in tw somewhere later in 2021, I'll be getting out to Arizona, and, and Pandemonium can either cook me a meal or, better yet, buy me one. At, you know, I, would, I love gloppy food. I, I love it. I love it. Camp Goer One says, uh, again, Sock Lady says, uh, doing things over and over with Nomad Life is the same as doing it in a sticks and bricks home. Only difference, most people are not nomads and don't share it on YouTube. Same BS, different day. Uh, look, <clears throat> I've said this many times. Uh, and we know that certain nomads, they go out, most nomads, they go out, they find places they like, certain campgrounds they like, and they go back to them again and again. That's only human nature. They, they like Florida, the west coast of Florida. They like southwestern Arizona. They like Flagstaff. They like southern Utah. And they go back again and again and again. And there's nothing wrong with that, except... If you're doing a YouTube channel and you try to bring in new subscribers and you try to give them new and unique content on a regular basis, doing the same thing over and over again is kind of tiring. You know, maybe it's just best to turn off the YouTube and just go circle Arizona for the rest of your life till your RV falls apart and be happy and just leave it off of YouTube. Because, again, you know, it's going to be boring eventually. Uh, Mike Reed kind of wants to know why we keep covering Samantha R. Olmstead when she's not really doing van life anymore. She's now back at her flight attendant job. I don't know. She said she is, you know, she's built a channel and she's trying to kind of keep it going. And she has a lot of people there that uh, just enjoy her chats and stuff. And, you know, she should just, you know, uh, she said she's going to get back back on the van life stuff one of these days when she has a vacation or something. But you know, again, she built up a nice channel. She's got a lot of subs there. She wants to keep them active, and she's an oddly compelling person. What else do you need? Van life? Ah. Leisure 057 Blank says, thanks for reminding me you got to go to the drugstore to pick up my rat poison. I don't know, man. I did an interesting, I think it was a very interesting discussion there this afternoon about rat poison and, uh, you know, 
Uh, you don't want something that's too terribly D-E-A-D-L-Y because, you know, wherever you put those rat poison traps, there's dogs and cats and, and birds and other critters, raccoons. You don't want, you know, everybody getting a nasty poison now, do you? Ah, I don't know if this was Ed or Sue, but it, one of the two writes um, from Nomad Ranch, the Nomad Ranch channel. I like Nomad Ranch dressing day very funny and creative. Yeah, I, I'm just having a little fun with them. I, you know, they, they changed their name from Bandit the Nomad Pug to Nomad Ranch. You know, Ed and Sue there, they're hanging out at Aja Acres with Aja's tribe, Pandemonium and all that. And they have a good channel, a couple of cute dogs now. And uh, Nomad Ranch is the new name of the, the, um, the channel. And I thought Nomad Ranch Dressing. I like ra Ranch Dressing is one of my favorite dressings, by the way. Maybe they should get a deal. And, you know, maybe, you know, like, like you know, t instead of T-shirts, they should give out bottles of Nomad Ranch Dressing branded with their logo on it. I think that's a really unique merchy thing to do. And Sue, what do you think? I've got a number of folks who, Jen D is, is one of them, who have written in about uh, Chrome's video today announcing his mother's passing away, how he started the video doing something else, and then about halfway through the video he started to bring up that serious um, issue in his life about his mom passing away. They, a lot of people thought he should have just d dedicated the whole video to his mom and not talked about something else in before it. Uh, yeah. There are a lot of negative comments about that, but uh, we won't judge that. Rip Snorton says, I don't think Matty Van Halen is going anywhere. He was set to quit his job and then there was a flood. Now, for whatever reason, he seems to feel obligated to stay and get everything up and running. He's way too responsible to be an unemployed van dweller. <laughs> well, he did say, originally, he said that sometime this year he was going to get a, become a prepper and go out and live in the woods in the mountains somewhere, and he's getting all ready to do that. I don't know, man. A prepper with a pre uh, you know a nomadic prepper with a pretty good job, right? You don't want to give that up. Scott Beeman says, Beerman says, maybe it's you, Dave. I'm getting bored with nomads. Yeah, it's to some degree I do sometimes get bored with them. You weren't always interested in nomads. I'm sure it might be ready for you to change the channel and move in a different direction. People's interests change. You know, I do watch a lot of other things besides nomads, and some days I do talk about them. But then I get all these people complaining. I don't want to hear about those airplane channels or those science channels or those, you know, <laughs> whatever channels that I watch. Music, I watch a lot of music channels, rock, classic rock stuff. I watch a lot of stuff. I people, people on trains, taking long train rides across Eastern Europe. I watch political channels. I watch a lot of stuff. And if I talk about it, people get mad at me. We don't want to hear about that. We want to hear about the nomads. And then, of course, the doxinator, you know, he, say, he always says, I never read his uh, messages. So I'm going to read one from him here. He wrote a little song a little while ago, and, you know, I'm sure he's going to want me to sing it. It's the Camo Dave Show on the YouTube video. Top news, nomads and weather, where all the cool cats get together. It's the Camo, Camo Dave Show. <laughs> so I'm going to go visit the Doxinator in a couple days. We're going to do some uh, videos from his place. I'm supposed to bring all, I'm supposed to bring my vodka. He's not supplying me with any vodka. I got to bring my vodka. I got to bring fruit juice to mix the vodka with. I got to bring toilet paper. I got to bring, you know, my, I, no laundry. Can't do any laundry when I'm over there. Uh, you know, but I'm only going to be there like two or three days, but, uh, he's giving me a big list of, we're not supplying you with this, 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 or this. That's okay. I will come when my bucket's prepared full of stuff. I will, I will be, you know, anyway, so, anyway. So anyway, I, I'm really feeling welcome going over there. Oh yeah. All right, folks, you can, you should have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday it raining, oh, raining all afternoon here in beautiful Morganton. Man, it's just been crazy. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, you all have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. I'll chat with you later. Vlog under.